Okay, so we're down the flying field. It's a fantastic day. I haven't done some drone flying for a, a while, so I bought out my Gravity 250. This is an amazing drone made from this indestructible material. It's from fossil stuff, so look it up if you want to learn drone flying, then this is a, a fantastic thing to get hold of. Um, so let, let's give it a go. Turn on my radio. Plug in the flight battery. Goggles. Just check. Check the alarm is working, and away we go. Got totally disorientated, crashed. Okay, Nick, did you see where that went? No. I've got absolutely no idea where I was. So I tell you what I can do, I can press the uh, the alarm button. But I can't hear it either. Do you know what that means? That probably means that the flight battery has come disconnected therefore the alarm isn't powered. Ugh. So here's the answer to that problem. This is the new ViFly Finder. A component that if you add into your drone means you will never lose it again should the flight battery become disconnected. So let's take it out of the box. Arrives in this nice little plastic box to protect it. Comes with a zip tie and a separate lead. And the finder itself in a nice bubble wrap packet. You can see it's absolutely tiny, so it should fit within most drones into most builds for that you put together for your drone or even something that you buy off the shelf. It comes with its own single cell lithium polymer battery. and the instructions obviously which show how to add it in and onto your flight controller. So that's what I'm going to do now and let's go and try it for the first time. Okay so here we are back at the flying field with the Gravity 250 but the difference is this time we have installed the ViFly Finder. So that issue that happened the first time when we crashed and the flight battery became disconnected and the, the alarm, the uh, beeper didn't work, should not happen. Because when the flight battery becomes disconnected, the ViFly Finder will uh, start beeping by itself. It, for the first 30 seconds, it will beep at low volume and then it goes to high volume. So let's try that now. So you can hear that low volume now and it should get louder after 30 seconds. Oh my god. That is quite loud isn't it? Right, so Nick what I'm going to do is I'm going to wander down there and let's do a range test. Okay? New, old wave, a new wave back. If you can hear it.
So there you go, that was uh, kind of a quick range test, but even out by those halfway down the, the field, you could still could hear it. This, this beeper, this alarm is a lot louder than any beep or alarm component that you would normally get off the shelf to add into your drone build. So uh, it's good for that, let alone the scenario where your flight battery has become disconnected and you don't know where the drone is. So fantastically loud. And just for a few bucks, a few pounds, it's definitely worth adding in to your next drone build or even retrospectively into the drones that you've already got built. Now, the one thing you'll want to know is how you disconnect it because you don't want it beeping like that all day and all night. So there are two ways. There's a disarming button on the component itself. Now mine is inside my Gravity 250 so I don't want to have to undo the screws every time to do that, obviously. You might choose to mount it externally so you can get to that button. But the other way you can do it is by just connecting your flight battery for another three to six seconds and then removing it and then you get three confirmation beeps that it is disarmed. So let's try that now. And you heard those three beeps, so it's disarmed. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching this Essential RC product test. I think a really worthwhile investment, the ViFly Finder. The link to it, the link to the product is in the video description for this video. So please have a look and how much how little it costs to buy one of these. Um, you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please use the link in the bottom left or the button you're going to see in the last 20 seconds of the video in the top right. You might want to join our Facebook group for news reviews and the occasional free giveaway. But thanks for watching this one. See you next time.